In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to design a probability distribution for a discrete random variable. Now, remember, random variables are variables who have their values determined by chance. Like, for example, let's say I create a random variable called t, which represents the number of tails you get when you flip a coin. If you flip a coin once, your sample space is heads and tails, because you can either get heads or you can get tails. So there's a 50% chance you're going to get one tails, and a 50% chance you're going to get zero tails, which would just be, you know, a heads. So probability distribution. A probability distribution displays the probability associated with all possible outcomes. Like in this case, this is what a probability distribution would look like for our random variable tails. Now you could either get zero tails, which would be a heads, or one tails. And these are the probabilities associated with each of these events. There's a 50% chance you will get zero tails, and a 50% chance you will get one tails. Now we know this is a probability distribution because if we add up the probabilities, we'll get 100%. That means we have accounted for all possible outcomes. So now let's make another one. What would the probability distribution look like for one roll of a six-sided die? So I want to make a table like this. And if you were to roll a die, you could get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And the probability associated with each of those rolls is 1 out of 6, right? You have a 1 out of 6 chance of getting a 1, or a 1 out of 6 of chance of getting a 4. So that's what the probability distribution would look like for the roll of a six-sided die. Just realize that a probability distribution merely lists all the events that can occur and the probability of each of those events. And that is a probability distribution for a random variable.